This channel is for the adept. This channel is for the shepherd. No drama. This is not a sitcom. Blessings, my sisters and my brothers. Welcome to the Law of One. I am Robert, humble messenger. It is such a pleasure to speak with you. Blessings, my sisters and brothers. It is my privilege and honor to share with you conscious channeling of LL Research, messages of unity, love, and light from the Confederation of Planets in service to our infinite creator. As always, use your discernment when listening to this material. We have a query. How does it feel physically, mentally, and emotionally to be in the presence of higher density service to other entities? For example, how did it feel for those around Jesus? or those in Egypt around Ra when they came down. We are Quo and we are aware of your query, my sister. This is an interesting query and we shall try to utilize the experience of those in this circle and of this instrument to communicate that experience of which you seek to understand. However, we must covenant that by saying that each experience is unique and as singular and all-encompassing as a single grain of sand. Those who have gone through this incarnational experience and were in the presence of entities who are of a higher density may describe the experience as though it is being closer to a source of light or a magnetism, if you will. Think in your own experience of how you have felt around entities who exude purity, whose light shines through their being without blockage. Think of experiences within your life where you have come across an entity who is unconditionally loving, who is compassionate, who is helpful, who is able to open their arms to you without question or without expectation of return. Or even simply think of the person you cross on the street who flashes a smile when you needed it most. Think of how that made you feel, how seen, how loved, how rejuvenated, invigorated, how pure the experience may have seemed. Think of how that inspired your own observations or contemplations on the experience. What came up for you in those moments? Did those moments challenge you in a way towards positive spiritual growth? Did those moments inspire you to act similarly? In those moments, were you able to see the unity of all creation? 
We can also liken those experiences to the one wherein you witness pure beauty, however you define it. Perhaps it is gazing upon an open vista with mountains or canyons or an open field. Or perhaps it is witnessing the unbridled spirit of an animal, a horse running freely, the tender love of a pet, or even still, perhaps it is witnessing the ways in which other selves step up for other selves and tend to other selves, especially in moments of crisis or turmoil. Think of how witnessing these moments made your heart feel the lightening. And by lightening, we mean both the removal of weight of experience or weight of identity, and also in the terms of a shock of brightness and energy that fills the heart. There are but a few ways in which the experience of those who have been around or spent time with entities of higher densities have felt or could describe. There's also the element of wisdom, how those of the higher densities may have reflected or imparted their wisdom upon other selves. However, that goes hand in hand with the free channel, free flow of love of these entities. For in those moments, perhaps it became clear that love and wisdom go hand in hand, that the unconditional love that has at its core a true wisdom to it, that it makes sense, that it is the true one original energy, and that all else is simply a distortion of that. Those moments of enlightenment where they realized the truth of love, wherein the elements of experience that separate fall away, where the walls that are put up that say, I am me and you are you, no longer exist. And in those moments when it clicks, when it shines so brightly that one might say, of course, love is all that there is. How incredibly wise and true. We assure you that there are a plethora of other ways of describing those experiences of the other selves who have spent time with higher density entities. For certain, there were possible moments of misunderstanding or perhaps judgment. For we are all, every single one of us, attempting to make sense of this illusion. The ways we see ourselves in this incarnation may challenge or be challenged by entities of higher densities, for it may shake the foundation of what you call status quo or what has been ingrained within you through your environmental experiences your upbringing, your various schools of thought within this illusion. But always at the opposite end of those moments 
were the opportunities to forgive and accept, to love, to see it for what it is. This chance to understand both self and other self and experience, to see the manyness of the creation boil down to the oneness. We are those of Quo, and may ask if there is another query from any in this circle. Thank you for taking my question. I'm not even sure why I'm asking this, but I'm wondering if there's something that we should know about what's going on in the world, because it just feels there's something imminent. I was wondering if you could give some enlightenment on why I'm feeling this way. We are aware of your query, my sister, and it is a most appropriate one at this time in your space-time reality and illusion, as you may see it. We may begin by illustrating this concept which you bring up with an image of an accelerating energy in your space-time. What is going on is what you mentioned, is that acceleration of energy. And we may ask you to see an image in your mind of winds that are normally flowing at 5 to 10 miles per hour and how pleasant those breezes may feel to yourself as if they are a breath of fresh air, as if they are a calming influence and a reminder of the beauty of creation. And all seems normal in such moments. Then, we ask you to imagine in your mind that you may see the winds picking up speed, becoming faster and stronger, even 20 to 30 miles per hour in your measurement, faster than before. And this changes the atmosphere of your environment in which you live and move and have your being upon earth at this time. And so it may make that earth experience feel different. Feel that things are coming faster upon you, whatever those experiences may be. Such increased speeds of experience can feel like everything is increasing in speed. Events, emotions, even life itself seems sped up so that one may feel and say at the end of the cycle of a day, where did the time go? How did we get to evening so quickly? There is that common perception that many may have upon earth at this time. But we may sense in your query something greater that you are asking. That in the speeding up of time itself, as it seems... The speeding up of experience and the energy that flows with it. That there is a sense of circumstances gathering that seem or may seem, in your words, imminent. May seem possibly overwhelming the normal life experience. Possibly overtaking what used to be known as normal life with its regular pacing of events. 
And if that is part of your query, my sister, may we explain to you that this energy that is flowing in a more accelerated way affects all level of existence in Earth's third density at this time, such that individual experiences, as well as the collective experience of many individuals and the collective experience of all those entities upon Earth at this time, are feeling the same acceleration. And so it may affect one's perception of individual as well as collective and even global events. It is as if one reaches those experiences faster than one had before. Faster than one is ready for them even. And so this acceleration has such effects upon those upon earth at this time and all living entities feel this. We may say that, as we have said before, that living in and from the presence of love may calm that sense within you, within all, because within the presence of love itself, that greatest and gentlest of power, there is a calm. There is a sense of all as well within that space even when the winds seem to blow more strongly, more quickly, in a more sped-up fashion, it is always possible to find that stillness, peace, and calm of the greatest presence of love with which you can surround yourself with which you can bathe yourself within your being. Pause a moment within that love and that stillness of that calm and see if perhaps the acceleration of energy around you might feel a little more distant from you, that you may find that peace in your own life, in your own body, mind, and spirit, and walk in that peace. Carry it with you so that others may feel it. The energy of the time is accelerating towards fourth density. As you well know, the in-streaming energies into Earth cause these energies to feel this way to you. But we say to you, the power and the presence of love is always available to you as the foundation of your being and of all being. There, the great love of the one infinite creator is always available to you no matter what is going on around you or within you. Thank you, my sister. We are most glad to respond to your query, for we feel it is a query of your heart. <laughs>